This then is the Soviet role, the refusal of the ceasefire, the constant stimulation of the arms race, blind identification with the Arab states in their political attitudes of hostility, utter one-sidedness in the political domain as was illustrated in the United Nations Security Council. The Soviet Union says that it's all right for Israel to be attacked and to have its citizens killed from one side of the boundary, but wrong for Israel to take action to make it more difficult for its citizens to be killed. We think that there should be a firm international response. And this is what I'm now discussing very actively here. As a background, I would uh, just like to mention some developments that took place in the recent past. My Prime Minister was here in September and uh, pointed out even then that uh, Israel's military balance, especially in the air, would justify reinforcement. But since then, the situation has become aggravated. More Soviet aircraft to the UAR, SA-3 missiles and Soviet personnel in the UAR, Soviet pilots undertaking operational flights in the UAR. In other words, the balance which then justified correction, in our opinion, requires it now with greater force and with greater urgency.